Hi everyone, it's me Roxanne and I'm back with another video on the Singer Quantum Stylus 9960. Today I will be showing you how to install your blind hem foot, setting up the machine to do your blind hem stitching, and showing you how to prepare your fabric for doing the blind hem stitch. This is the front display of your machine as it appears when you turn your machine on. This machine has two blind stitch options. In order to access those two stitches, we have to scroll through the menu of stitches until we get to number 10. This is your first blind stitch option. Notice between the tack stitches there are zigzag stitches. This stitch is used on knitted fabrics so that the stitch will have some give. If you press over to the right again and once more, you will see that stitch option number 11 appears. This is the blind stitch used on woven fabrics. Notice between the tack stitches there are straight stitches. Notice also in the display that it suggests to use foot D, which is your blind hem foot. Also, this button, you can access your stitch. You can lengthen or shorten your stitches, and you can also widen or narrow your zigzag. I'm going to leave it on 3 for my zigzag and 1.8 for the length of my stitch. This is the default set in the machine and that's what I will be doing my demonstration. This is foot D and the blind hem foot that comes with the Singer 9960. If you've read my blog, you know why this is not the foot that I use when I do my blind hemming. The foot that I use is an older model from an older machine that I own, and I use this foot because it has this small toe right here on the front, right here, that floats right under your hem and keeps everything aligned perfectly. So I will be doing my demonstration with this foot, not the foot that came with the Singer 9960. Whether you're using an older model blind hem foot as I am, or you're using the original foot D that came with the 9960, as you can see they're very similar and they both have the screw set adjustment. Now this adjustment is important because by screwing it in or out it allows this plastic piece to move in and out which helps you to align your hem with your stitching line. This foot is very easy to install in your machine. It's a snap-on foot, so you place it under the presser bar and lower the presser bar. Now this is how you prepare your fabric for doing a blind hem stitch. Now pretend that this is the hem of your dress or pants or whatever you're interested in blind hemming. Fold up your hem and press into position. Now the next step is a little bit tricky. Pick both layers up and turn it back. Now can you see that this little portion right here that's sticking out? And we'll turn this vertically and you can see that this is where we will stitch it in the machine along this route. Now off to the machine. Notice I have my machine threaded with red thread so, to, so that you will be able to see exactly what the blind stitch looks like. Now insert your fabric into the machine and between the layers, put that little toe. Lower your presser foot. Now what the machine is doing is straight stitching 
and going over to the left every few stitches and taking a little bite. That little bite is actually your hem. This is what it should look like on the right side. It does take a little bit of time and practice to adjust your stitch so that you are just taking a little bite every time the needle heads to the left. Take your time and make sure you adjust your screw set where it works correctly or adjust your stitch width or your stitch length to accommodate either heavier fabrics or lighter fabrics. It'll take a little time to play around with this to get it to be just right, so don't be discouraged if it's not just perfect the first time you try. I have a tip for you when you do blind hemming in your sewing machine. I very often will use a very fine monofilament thread threaded in the top of my machine and wound on my bobbin. It gives an even more invisible look to my blind hem, so give that a try. So thank you for checking out part 7, uh, learning to use the blind hem stitch on your Singer Quantum Stylus 9960. I hope that you found all of this information useful, and those of you that have commented and sent messages requesting this will find it helpful also. Take care, and have a happy creative day. Bye now.